Here at WEYW, we are sponsoring a Christmas decorating contest. This is a chance for all the creative decorators out there to show your talent off to the community. We're looking for the most creative home in South Florida. The winner will receive a two-night stay at Key Lime Sailing Club and Cottages in Key Largo. All you have to do is send a photo of the outside of your home to the email address that you see on the bottom of the screen. We are looking forward to seeing some very creative decorations. Before we go today, though, we're going to focus on a nonprofit organization located in Marathon known as Forgotten Felines. Jerry, thank you for being with me on the show today. Well, thanks for the invitation. Well, it's great having you here, Jerry. And let's talk a little bit about Forgotten Felines and what it is that you guys do. Okay. Forgotten Felines uh, was formed in the late 90s as a method of dealing with an increasing stray and abandoned pet problem in Marathon and the Lower Keys. Mm -hmm. We actually operate as far south as Summerlin. Uh, we feed a number of colonies. Uh, at this point in time, we've got over 80 colonies with uh, more than 500 cats that we feed on a daily basis. It's all done by volunteers. Um, cats are dealt with by a, a, a method called trap, neuter, and release, TNR. Mm -hmm. we trap the cat, gets a health uh, examination, uh, gets all its shots. If it's a socialized cat and can be placed, we do our best to actually place cats uh, or adopt out cats to, uh, to, to loving families. If it's a cat that we don't think is adoptable, we return it to the place that it was captured or the nearest colony and, uh, and monitor it. Uh, in addition to the examination, they get all their shots, rabies, uh, all the other kinds of things, and as I said, get a complete health examination. And I understand, Jerry, that you guys feed over 500 Daily? Yes, we feed. As I said, we have uh, a number of colonies that we feed, and it's uh, over 500 cats. As I said, from Summerlin all the way up to Grassy Key. Now, why do you guys feel it's so important to be here in the Keys? Well, uh, cat people are a pretty unique uh, 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 cadre of individuals. Uh, mm -hmm. I always kind of joke that I'm kind of an oddball because I'm a crazy cat guy. <laughs> you know, the stereotype, of course, is, is crazy cat ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, but it's an, it's an ever-increasing problem. Um, without any supervision, the, the number of cats, you know, increases exponentially. Mm -hmm. uh, there are times, like uh, in certain neighborhoods in Big Pine, where you used to be able to drive through light at night and it was like thousands of BBs glowing in the dark and they were actually the eyes of, eyes of abandoned cats. And largely through individual efforts and through the efforts of uh, forgotten felines, We've really gotten a handle on that, and the number of, of cats in each colony actually is decreasing, and that's kind of the point because they are all sterilized before they're released, so that eliminates all the, the, the um, just progression of one, one litter of kittens, one after another. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. And if people want to adopt a cat, they can adopt a cat. Absolutely. We, we, we place as many as we can. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year we placed over 100 cats. Uh, and kittens. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, one of our fundraisers is uh, what's called the Perfect Thrift Store and it's in Marathon uh, right next to Annette's restaurant and across the street from the community park and in addition to the items that we have for sale to generate um, funds to support our work there are always cats and kittens that are available for adoption. Mm -hmm. Wonderful and you guys have a big event coming up. There yeah right? we have uh, what we call our uh, Pictures with Santa Paws. I love it. Yeah, Very it's going cool. to be mm -hmm. on Saturday, December uh, 15th at mm -hmm. the Perfect Thrift Store. Mm -hmm. uh, you can bring your four-legged kids or your two-legged kids <laughs> and get pictures taken with the Grinch. Uh, the, you can get them either inserted in uh, Christmas cards or on CD. Uh, bake sale, craft sale, mm -hmm. free food, raffles. Well, it should be a pretty good time. I think everybody will really enjoy it. And it's, I'm sorry, it's from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. Okay. And now did you say with the Grinch instead of Santa Claus? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be the Grinch. Oh, a little twist. <laughs> yeah, <I> exactly. Like <laughs> well, Jerry, thank you for being on this morning. Hopefully viewers can make it out to Marathon and get their picture taken with the Grinch, not Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and we certainly appreciate and the invitation. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning and joining me. I hope you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.